is answering questions about why he didn't want to stay in a city, and it's not okay. See, Katie opens up about why he didn't want to return to his hometown of D.C., telling the Washington Post this. I was like, I'm trying to build a second part of my life as a man living in a different part of the country, just trying to do different things. I did everything I was supposed to do in the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area, I felt. Now it's time to do something new. I didn't want to come back. That's just my thought process behind it. It had nothing to do with basketball, the fans, the city. It was just like, all right, that part of my life I've conquered already. What's next? Stephen A. I'm nervous by this face I'm getting. What does this say about KD? It says he's not entirely truthful. I'm not calling him a liar. Because I don't think that anything that he said he was lying about, mm -hmm. except for one part. Nothing to do with basketball? I don't believe that. Many, many people I have talked, I have spoken to in the NBA don't believe that. A matter of fact, whereas I can totally understand and empathize with his position because going to Washington itself and being home, taking requests, people in your face, everybody bothering you, it's like a second job with all the stuff in the community and beyond. I mean, my Lord, he'd have no peace if he went home. That's fair. But I'm telling you as somebody who covers the NBA <clears throat> that there are many people who believe that Kevin Durant wants no part of an Eastern Conference team because he doesn't want to have to go through, he doesn't want to have to face LeBron until he absolutely positively has to, which would mean in the finals. He doesn't want to face LeBron before the finals. Mm -hmm. They believe that had a lot to do with him not ending up in Miami. They believe that had a lot to do with him not ending up in Washington. They believe they, that had a lot to do with him not ending up in a bevy of places. Now, Kevin's on a different, you know, he's on a different, he's in a different place. I don't, I don't really mess with him. You see what I'm saying? Cordial respect for I move on. You do you, I do me. Because you do your job and I'm going to do my job. But I am telling you that there are people who have religiously stated, and they stated it from the time that it was rumored that he wanted to leave Oklahoma City. They said, Stephen A, don't even think about him going to the Knicks. Don't even think about him going to Miami. Because remember, Hassan Whiteside was willing to take about $4 million less so Pat Riley would have the numbers available to give KD to Max. Thereafter, what Dwayne Wade would have done is, even if they had to go over the luxury tax to keep the championship squad intact, with D. Wade, with a KD, with an Hassan Whiteside, with the rest of the crew, with the Goran Dragic to the world and others that they had in place, you bring, you, bring K, you bring D. Wade back. But in the end, they said it ain't happening to Stephen A. Because LeBron's in the Eastern Conference. And KD don't want to deal with that until he absolutely positively has to. That is what they said. So him saying that it had nothing to do with basketball, all I'm going to say is this. I'm not going to call a man a liar. I'm going to tell you that. Very few people believe that. It had nothing to do with basketball. We're going to have Triple G on later. You think middleweights are rushing to get in the ring with him? <laughs> Same thing with LeBron James in the NBA. LeBron James is a balance of power player. Wherever he is, they're going to the finals. Kevin Durant's not quite that. No one's really quite that except LeBron. Mm -hmm. And Kevin Durant's on a damn good team for a number of years. They went to one finals. One. With Westbrook. Before Harden and Ibaka all coming up and already quite good. So it's not the same thing, and I get that when you say, I don't believe it's not something to do with basketball, although I wonder if the Golden State Warriors were instead playing in Washington, may, might he have joined that team because he would have felt like that's the best basketball team I can join. This is how sick LeBron is. This is how much better he is than everyone else. Even with KD joining the Warriors, a lot of people are going to take the Cavs to repeat. With KD we joining a 73-win we we team. We were just talking about a commercial break, mm -hmm. absolutely. Because LeBron James, as you say about Aaron Rodgers, is a bad man. I get that. Now let's talk specifically, though, about him, what he said about not going back home, essentially. Mm -hmm. I think that displayed yeah. a lot of maturity on his part, I actually. I agree. I agree. That's the kind of decision that a mid-20-something kid, young man, who's already had some life experience, obviously, more than most 
doesn't often make a decision that mature, that that chapter of his life is closed, he wants to go on and experience new things and conquer new worlds. I felt that that showed maturity on KD's part. Now, as for the kind of vitriol directed in KD's direction, not at LeBron James's direction, LeBron James, is, as you mentioned to me earlier today, he went home again, didn't he? KD chose not to go home, but there's a difference. LeBron, the first time he got to make a choice, forced his way out of town. You can't choose where you're drafted. You're drafted where you're drafted. You got to stay there really for between six and seven but years. But he had also committed to Cleveland because he could he resigned and signed with them for the first seven years of his career. He didn't have to stay there long. But so few. Right. When you really look at that, no one. Uh, how many players who are superstars ever leave? Before, you know, after the five years, they all or three or five years, they all stay because there's so much more money to be made if you stay in place. Really, it's in year six where you can force your way out of town. That's when we see player movement. LeBron forced his way out of town. The second decision he made was to go back home. Let's not forget, this is KD's first decision. It's the first time he gets to choose, and he as LeBron was back. vilified, so is KD. Doesn't mean he'll never play in Washington. Mm -hmm. I don't know that that means he'll never play in Washington. It means the first time he got to choose, he didn't choose to go back home. Let me tell you something. <clears throat> first of all, let's be clear about something. KD's a bad boy. Averaging Against LeBron, he's averaged 29 on 49% shooting, if I remember correctly. LeBron has also averaged 29 on 52% shooting. But LeBron's record against them is 18 and 5 in those 23 games that they played against each other. Oh. That's pretty dominant. And it was better than that before the Golden State Warriors smoked Cleveland on January 16th. Now, I will tell you right now, the Golden State Warriors in that comfort zone they've been enjoying for most of the season, it got significantly tighter with the acquisition of Darren Williams, the elevation of Derek Williams on, coming off the Cavaliers bench. Had a nice that game elevated. last night. I love what I saw from him last night. I love what I'm seeing from him, period. Derek Williams did a good job with the Knicks last year. The brother can play. And then you also got the possibility that Andrew Bogut may choose the Cleveland Cavaliers to come to. What I am saying by saying that is that if that happens, the LeBron may very well be standing in KD's way again, but at least it would be in the finals. And if Kate, let's face reality, KD didn't go there, didn't go to go to state because he wanted to have a good time. KD didn't go to the state because he liked the food in San Francisco. KD went up in there because KD's trying to get himself a chip as soon as he possibly can because he knows that's the one mark against his illustrious career. It's just that simple. But who's the impediment to that success? The same dude that knocked him out four years ago or so. That's LeBron James. And so you got people talking about how you don't want no parts of LeBron James until he absolutely has to have that, and that's why he... But can he go? Conference. Can't he go and get a chip there, and then ultimately, if he chooses to, come back to Washington and try to do the same thing, you might say, you might same say, thing that Which he is did. why I said to you, I do believe he's being mature and very honest and forthright when he talks about being home and all that comes with it. Yeah. Because that is a lot for certain players to handle, because you go there, especially with a team like Washington that hasn't won a championship since 1979 or so, you don't want to go home and... And oh. all of it is on your shoulders. Some people don't want that And weight. some people but want to move around also. We've all moved around. KD is great. Well, we move around for the money. Can we stop, can, yeah. uh, 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 <laughs> can we stop this once and yeah. for all? I just want to address yeah. this. Yeah. I'm tired of, of, of folks in this business. Oh, we move around just like they move. Look, we move around We move to get around paid. for opportunities, no, no, and that's what to, he's we, doing. No, we move around to get paid. He's getting paid wherever he goes. They're getting paid wherever they go. The stars of the NBA, Maybe he wants it's to see the Golden Gate issue. Bridge, That's check out Alcatraz, really? you know, go to really? wine country. Really? He's doing something really? new. Okay. He's already he is a great, great player. He's among the greatest ever at his position. Yes, he is. But he is a player in LeBron James's world. LeBron James's dominance over this era is so thorough, it informs the decisions other superstars make. The reason KD joined the Warriors, other than the point I bring up about I don't want to have to worry about who takes the last shot, Alpha this with Westbrook and everything, whoever's the open man, that'll take, you know, that's the way basketball is supposed to be played. They're doing that in Golden State. But the other thing is, and maybe this is the first thing, LeBron James has a crew in Cleveland. In order to overcome that, I, KD, need to join the greatest regular season team of all time that almost beat the Cavs. That's the only way I can deal with LeBron. And, and let's also highlight a reality that we don't want to get into. Like, for example, as great as I believe Melo is as an offensive player, he's not better than Kevin Durant. Right. Kevin Durant is better than Melo. But you know why you bring up the name Melo when you talk about a conversation like this? Because Melo wouldn't hesitate to go at LeBron.
He don't care. KD, in the eyes of some people in NBA circles, cares a great deal and wants no part of that until he absolutely has to have that encounter. Melo does not care. Okay, at all. Not this year. Oh, he doesn't need to because he didn't never get into I'm the just finals. Saying, the finals but, appear but, to be getting saying, a lot more intriguing yeah. as well. I'm which just is talking about. Yes. I'm just talking about a cat where you give him the ball and it's like, look, that's the dude that's standing in your way. Melo is like, KD. Well, KD, you can deny the ball a little bit physically. He's not as strong as Melo. Maybe can't we'll really see that KD Mello this year. Hmm? When we come back, a Hall of Famer rips Terrell Owens in Randy. Welcome into First Take. Thank you so much for hanging with us. Steve A. What's up? Back no, it's not like Are you doing? Are we doing this now? No, let's we'll no, okay, okay. I, I like sticking with it. Do we do with something, something different? Yeah. Yeah. Y'all yeah. make it corny when y'all stall. Just do it, baby. Just do it. We just have to work out the kings. All right. And then we will. I'm just and saying, we'll be flowing. Hey, just... guess what? We found somebody. T.I. Rapper T.I. will join us to face Stephen A. He went missing Atl after the Atlanta Falcons police. Lost. Atlanta police called me. They informed me that they had found T.I. Yeah, APB uh, out on him. The, I had an APB out on him. He was hiding for quite some time because he was trying to recover from the Atlanta Falcons blowing the Super Bowl. Uh, but we found him. We found him. And I told them they don't have to do anything to him. Just make him come on the show. You know so who else is going to be here? Yeah. Triple G. Heard the mm. dude's pretty good. Mm. He's going to talk about his next fight and his pick people. in Mayweather McGregor. Looking forward to that. But we start with Antonio Brown. The man got paid. Dinner is on him. The Steelers agreed to a four-year, $68 million extension with Brown, according to our Adam Schefter, making the Facebook Live star the highest paid wide receiver based on yearly salary in the NFL, $18.5 million per year for the next three years. The next four highest paid wideouts are A.J. Green at 15.9. Julio Jones at 15.7 million, Des Bryant 15, and Demarius Thomas 14.5. Max, does he deserve to be the highest paid wideout in the NFL? Deserve. Deserve's got nothing to do with it, as Clint Eastwood said in Unforgiven. Deserve's got nothing to do with it. The, the, the most talented guy who's up latest, whoever's contract is up now, sets the market. Here's the thing. If we're talking about deserve based on their play, <clears throat> Julio Jones deserves to be the highest paid, then Antonio Brown. So you might be sitting there going, oh, okay, so Antonio Brown's overpaid. But in fact, Stephen A., as we know, in guaranteed money, Julio Jones is the highest paid. 47 million guaranteed. Antonio Brown only has 19 million guaranteed. He's the 16th highest paid in guaranteed and money. And that's what matters. Wide out. So in fact, yes, he deserves to be top two. But he's not getting paid like that. The Steelers got a steal here. I agree with you. I think he deserves a better deal. I think he deserves more. But I also think that we need to deal with reality. His behavior cost him. His behavior cost him from the standpoint that the Steelers gave every indication that while we believe in your talent and your on-field exploits, at the same time, off the field, there's a level of maturity that we need you to have. And I think that if you're Antonio Brown, even though I'm happy for him because he is getting paid and he does deserve this money, and it certainly is going to be more than he was getting, and this is something that he was looking forward to, there is no question about it. At the same time, I would, like to, I would like everybody to take things into consideration. This is Antonio Brown the last four years. 110 receptions, 1,499 yards. 129 receptions, 1,698 yards. 136 receptions, 1,834 yards. 106 Jerry Rice receptions, numbers. 1,284 yards. When you consider those numbers and then you take into account the guaranteed dollars that Max just are, just just elocuted to our national audience. You have to step back. If you are a football player and you got a modicum of sense in that thick head of yours, you've got to step back and say, wait a minute. This brother flat out balled and look at where he's at. 16th highest in guaranteed dollars. He probably deserves more than that. I don't think there's any question about it. The Rooney said, we'll take care of you because we appreciate your body of work. Because remember, he still had a none, one year left on his deal after this season. He was going to be back next year anyway. But the point is, what they were saying is this. Even though your talents are what they are, there's a, there's a, a behavioral issue in our mind. 
Let's make sure we guard that. Let's make sure that Big Ben Roethlisberger and others are not looking at you and saying, we want him on the team, we appreciate his talents, but we're concerned about his behavior. Let's make sure our coach, Mike Tomlin, who's in competition committees as we speak right now, isn't sitting back and saying, you you know, it, you, you're basically uh, threw me under the... He's answering questions about why he didn't want to stay in a city, and it's not okay. See, Katie opens up about why he didn't want to return to his hometown of D.C., telling the Washington Post this. I was like, I'm trying to build a second part of my life as a man living in a different part of the country, just trying to do different things. I did everything I was supposed to do in the D.C., Maryland, Virginia area, I felt. Now it's time to do something new. I didn't want to come back. That's just my thought process behind it. It had nothing to do with basketball, the fans, the city. It was just like, all right, that part of my life I've conquered already. What's next? Stephen A. I'm nervous by this face I'm getting. What does this say about KD? It says he's not entirely truthful. I'm not calling him a liar. Because I don't think that anything that he said he was lying about. Mm -hmm. Except for one part. Nothing to do with basketball? I don't believe that. Many, many people I have talked, I have spoken to in the NBA don't believe that. A matter of fact, whereas I can totally understand and empathize with his position because going to Washington itself and being home, taking requests, people in your face, everybody bothering you, it's like a second job with all the stuff in the community and beyond. I mean, my Lord, he'd have no peace if he went home. That's fair. But I'm telling you as somebody who covers the NBA <clears throat> that there are many people who believe that Kevin Durant wants no part of an Eastern Conference team because he doesn't want to have to go through, he doesn't want to have to face LeBron until he absolutely positively has to, which would mean in the finals. He doesn't want to face LeBron before the finals. Mm -hmm. They believe that had a lot to do with him not ending up in Miami. They believe that had a lot to do with him not ending up in Washington. They believe they, that had a lot to do with him not ending up in a bevy of places. Now, Kevin's on a different, you know, he's on a different, he's in a different place. I don't, I don't really mess with him. You see what I'm saying? Cordial respect for I move on. You do you, I do me. Because you do your job and I'm going to do my job. But I am telling you that there are people who have religiously stated, and they stated it from the time that it was rumored that he wanted to leave Oklahoma City. They said, Stephen A., don't even think about him going to the Knicks. Don't even think about him going to Miami. Because remember, Hassan Whiteside was willing to take about $4 million less so Pat Riley would have the numbers available to give KD to Max. Thereafter, what Dwayne Wade would have done is, even if they had to go over the luxury tax to keep the championship squad intact, with D-Wade, with a KD, with an Hassan Whiteside, with the rest of the crew, with the Goran Dragic to the world and others that they had in place, you bring, you bring, bring D-Wade back. But in the end, they said it ain't happening to Stephen A because LeBron's in the Eastern Conference. And KD don't want to deal with that until he absolutely positively has to. That is what they said. So him saying that it had nothing to do with basketball, all I'm going to say is this. I'm not going to call a man a liar. I'm going to tell you that. Very few people believe that. It had nothing to do with basketball. We're going to have Triple G on later. You think middleweights are rushing to get in the ring with him? <laughs> Same thing with LeBron James in the NBA. LeBron James is a balance of power player. Wherever he is, they're going to the finals. Kevin Durant's not quite that. No one's really quite that except LeBron. Mm -hmm. And Kevin Durant's on a damn good team for a number of years. They went to one finals. One. With Westbrook. And before Harden and Ibaka all coming up and already quite good. So it's not the same thing, and I get that when you say, I don't believe it's not something to do with basketball, although I wonder if the Golden State Warriors were instead playing in Washington, may, might he have joined that team because he would have felt like that's the best basketball team I can join. This is how sick LeBron is. This is how much better he is than everyone else. Even with KD joining the Warriors, a lot of people are going to take the Cavs to repeat. With KD we joining talking, a 73-win we we team. We were just talking about a commercial break.